today's video is Hobby Lobby inspired. I actually was going to treat myself to that sign and I'm glad I did it because it was expensive and I was able to recreate it. So I'm starting with this 18 inch round chalkboard sign that I got from Chalk Couture. Um, but I did check at Hobby Lobby and they had a circle sign this size and it just wasn't on sale so I didn't grab it and then I remembered I had this in my stash. So I've just taped off here and I'm going to make, um, try to make this look like wood and I think I succeeded. So I'm using um, Waverly Chalk Paint in Hazelnut and I'm going to give it two to three coats right here. So again, so this sign I'm kind of doing it the opposite where I feel like the Hobby Lobby one was probably wood and then they painted it black. So you'll, you can totally do that. Get a wood one and you're just going to do the opposite. You're going to um, tape it off and then you'll paint it black and leave the wood. And so I'm just going to rub a little bit of um, Waverly Antique Wax with my chip brush just to give it that wood grain look. And then I went to my Cricut and I cut out Merry Christmas. The Christmas font is Cream Candy and the Merry font is Aldine 721BT. Now I'm just going to take this pick. This particular one is from Michaels. I got it in a grab bag like two years ago and I think it costs about 20 cents. So it was a score. Um, so I'm just peeling off some of the um, stems there. I don't want to use the red berries. I just want to keep this really neutral. And so I am just going to cut this down and adhere it down with um, hot glue. Before I do that, I do want to make the top of the ornament, and luckily Dollar Tree has come out now with these corrugated metal shapes. Um, so I'm using this one, it's kind of an oval. They have stars and squares and like just all these really cool shapes now. And I was like, this is perfect to go as the top of my um, ornament. So I'm going to use partially... Um, E6000 as well as hot glue. I want this to be really sturdy. So this video you're going to see is, like I said, it's all Hobby Lobby inspired, but also it's going to have a certain theme and that is what my theme is going to be this year. And that is black and white and wood and green. So that's my theme this year. I have done red buffalo check and buffalo check, um, the last and you know rustic the last two years so this year I wanted to kind of just change it up a little and I'm going to go more with the woodsy rustic theme. So I'm still going to have white and black buffalo check but I will be getting rid of the reds and the red buffalo check. Um, so I definitely need some new decor and so I am in love with how all these projects turned out because they will be all in my new decor this year. So I'm going to go ahead and use this ribbon. This ribbon is my favorite. It comes out at Christmas. I've bought it the last two years because it works so good for farmhouse projects year round. It's definitely not Christmas. Um, it works for Christmas, but it works year round. So I'm just going to make two loops here. And this is kind of like my cheater bow. I just make two loops, then I cut um, the tails, and then I just 
um, adhere them all together with a zip tie. So I put this smaller loop on top of the big loop. I decide how long I want my tails and then I just double that. That's how I make my bow, cheater bow. Um, this is kind of a hard thing to put a bow on because the um, greenery is kind of thick. Um, the sample, the, the inspiration does not have a bow, but I just, I wanted a bow. And that's why it's called an inspiration piece and not a dupe because I'm not making it exactly the same. So once I get that bow down, this project's done and it's a nice big statement piece. I absolutely love it and I hope you like it too. Today's video is also a Christmas collab. We want to bring you all the Christmas um, inspiration and it's hosted by Liana DIY and as well as participants is DIY with Amber, Artsy Cupcake, Creations by Favi, Daisy DIY, Lori Bly DIY, and Lisa Birmingham. So check out the playlist below and give them a check out and tell them that Lisa sent you. I knew this project would be very easy. I picked up a sheet of um, paper here from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's just like a handmade paper type and it comes in 12 by 12. Um, I didn't have a big enough frame in my stash so I did um, rip it down to eight by eight. I just printed off this Joy to the World um, off my Cricut, but you could just feed this paper right through your printer and just print it on there. So that would be way easy. If you don't have a Cricut, just feed the paper through and um, and you can um, get it on the paper. Ooh, I could not think of my words there. The font that I'm using is JMH Typewriter, and I got that off to font.com. So again, you can print it right onto your paper. All I'm doing now is just using my glue stick and gluing it down to this. This particular frame is from Michael's, but I got it like two years ago. You can use any frame and just take out the backing to it and that's it. So it's a very inexpensive project to make. That's it. Look how easy that is. I love it. It's going to go so well into my decor. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lisa and I love all things DIY. I hope that you're enjoying these videos and if you do, it would be amazing if you liked and subscribed and even shared. Yeah, that's my dog spying in the background. Also, I want to let you know I'm over on Instagram where I share all the projects from here as well as hauls how I decorate other budget friendly items. So find me over there. It's a dollar underscore underscore mom and tell my dogs to stop playing. <laughs> Another really easy project. I just took one of these green tree ornaments from the Target dollar spot as well as these three wood pieces that I got from I think it's called craft deals but I will link it below but you could cut any kind of wood and then this ornaments are $3.99 at Hobby Lobby and I got them for 40% off and I painted it white I also um, sanded off the glitter on the side of the tree and I painted it with the um, Waverly Antique Wax. Now on two of the trees, I just put some scrapbook paper. Both of those are from Hobby Lobby. One looks like metal. Um, obviously the other one is Buffalo Check. I'm just uh, going to take this scrap piece of wood, also covered with Waverly Antique Wax, and then just glue these trees on. Super easy, quick project. I know I went through that fast, but I know you know how to paint and Mod Podge, and that's all that I did here and I just think it turned out really cute. As you can see, I changed it up a little bit from the inspiration piece at Hobby Lobby. Um, it just so happened that that ornament fit perfect on the tree. I hadn't originally planned that, but I thought it added a lot to it. Again, these DIYs are so easy to recreate 
and this one I'm just gonna take one of the houses from uh, Dollar Tree and then I just had and I'm gonna just take some of this buffalo check I'm, I'm not this is gonna be the back side but I just want to have it finished I don't want pink on the back I'm just gonna take my folk art black chalk paint and cover that house and then I just have this little wood house that I picked up somewhere along the way and I'm gonna cover that in Waverly antique wax I have these bells also from Hobby Lobby just got them this year again 40% off I need some twine and I just happen to have a little snowflake. So what you're seeing here is I actually am adding a whole new little house that wasn't in the inspiration, but that I thought went well with this. So after my house is painted in black, I'm just taking a strip of the Buffalo check paper and I'm just gonna glue it around the house. Now you could use ribbon as well. I think maybe I would use ribbon now looking back. I just think it might give it a little higher end look, but this worked just well just like the inspiration piece once I get that glued down I'm going to take my twine and wrap it around several times and make a little twine bow I know you've probably seen a lot of these beaded um, decor pieces, but this one was super chunky, so I wanted to recreate that. So I'm using 25 millimeter beads that I got off Amazon, as well as these snowflake ornaments from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to stack four of them on top of each other, because like I said, I, this is going to be a chunky piece. So I'll paint that snowflake with linen um, colored Rust-Oleum chalk paint. And then for the beads, I'm going to take some of my antique wax, pour it into this little container here, and then I'm going to roll the beads around. After I do that, and get them nice and coated, then I'm going to rinse them off. Is there an easier way to do this? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe stain them in coffee? But this worked well for me. And then I just went and I rinsed them under the faucet and 
it came out good and it didn't even stain my hands or anything like that so that's what I do and there you can see them at the top they're not very dark I probably could have left them in there longer uh, but I didn't know I'd never tried this before and so I didn't want them to be too dark so that's what I did then I'm just gonna take um, the snowflake and kind of rough it up a little bit and I will string my beads and the snowflake and that'll be done it will be just this chunky little piece to add to my decor I hope you enjoyed these projects today I am really excited to decorate for Christmas this year because it will be all new um, decor pieces and that's always kind of fun to have kind of a fresh start. Um, I am going to actually insert a picture here at the end of some of the pieces that I picked up from Hobby Lobby um, that I'm just going to in, put into my decor. I don't have to do anything with them. Remember to get some more Christmas craft inspiration. Click on the playlist below and check out all the other crafters. Until next time, happy crafting.